Brown Gold Natural Cocoa Powder, your trusted brand for a healthy living. And you see, we bring your brain in your brain, baby. And you see, first national savings saloon say, What that you mean? Yeah, yeah. And you see, what that you account to so. Ever brown, I'm a caprice and poor near Bob Bano. Now that you, when you swan your ten 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 ten. Oh, yes, it's a sebia, Ghana, Sikano, and Peswe do no pe. No could be a crabby beer or pe. You will not one in Rancy, I won't ever bang with Jody beer. Nobody will seek out to a mound. We hear ourselves up with ye, dear mound. But what do you have to be a brown or a gun? And now flying zero three zero two two one eight eight five five. First National Savings Alliance on Mount Fosica Crabia. Looking for a venue for your wedding reception, conferences, and retreats, outside catering, recreation. Look no further than Coconut Grove Beach Resort Hotel, located in Elmina. Coconut Grove Hotels, memories worth repeating.
children. Get a goal, we're going to have to get it in the next 20 seconds. And Montari goes for goal! I'm with the Dodo Ambulance Station, the head of the station. I'm here with my colleague, EMTB Esther Mankwata, and EMT trainee Samo Agbamale. We have our ambulance here, which I want to introduce you to. First of all, we have the spine board, which we use when we have a patient with a spine injury. So it helps to stabilize the patient, we immobilize the patient on the spine board. I have with me the equipment we use to do splinting. When we pick a patient in an RTA situation who have a fracture of the leg or of the arm, we use this thing to be able to immobilize the hand so that there wouldn't be further aggravation to the injury. This is the pump we use to pump the, sp the splints. As we pump it, we inflate the splint to be able to splint the patient very well. We have bent kids. Whenever we pick a patient, we are called to pick a patient, and we get in the situation involved bends. We use this these items to be to dress the patient to also help to facilitate the patient for further management. I have with me the ambu bag. In a situation whereby we cannot move with our oxygen machine, we use the ambu bag to also deliver oxygen to the patient. And we have the suction machine. As we know, people get acidiated through secretion. So this suction machine, when you pick your new, you are asphyxiating through secretion. We use this suction machine to suction the secretion so that the airway will be patent. And we have the portable oxygen. It's carryable. We just move it. Like this, then you can carry it along to where the patient is, so that you'll be able to deliver the oxygen whilst the patient is lying on the bed and as you are bringing the patient on board the ambulance. As soon as you get to the ambulance, you change to the oxygen cylinder we have here with its flow meter here, so that we'll be able to prevent depleting of oxygen in the portable oxygen. This is called the stethoscope and this is called the fake. We use it to check BP. Whenever we are being called to respond to an emergency, as soon as we get to the scene, there are important things that we need to do that is called vital signs. As we take the temperature of the patient, we take the BP, and we, take, we check the respiration rate of the patient as well. This helps us to be able to know the problem with the patient and what management needs to be given. We have with us glucose. In situation where I pick a patient and the patient is unconscious and we use our glucometer. This is the glucometer. We use the glucometer to determine that the patient's sugar level is very low and the patient is conscious. To be able to deliver the glucose orally, we use the, the glucometer to test it. We will know that it's, the patient is hypo or the sugar level is low, then we give up the 
glucose to the patient. In a situation whereby the patient is unconscious and we need to deliver sugar content to the patient, we use the intravenous and we have the, this is called a giving set and this is the cannula. This is what we use to deliver the, the glucose to the patient. And these are the few fluids that we have in the ambulance that we use. This is the normal cell line which we use and this is the D5 which is also is called dextrose. We use it to also give management when we have a hypoglycemia patient. I have with me the AED which means the automated external defibrillator. This is used when we have a patient who is unconscious who has a cardiac arrest. So we use this one to be able to give management to the patient. This is the lead. This is the lead that we attach to the patient chest. It's an automated, so it's giving you the instruction as to what to do. When they have attached the electro to the bare chest, when there is a need for you to shock, the machine will tell you to shock. When there is no need to shock, it will tell you to continue CPR, which is cardiopulmonary resuscitation. You could hear the AED telling us to attach the electrode to the attach bare chest. The to the bare as soon chest. as we attach the electrodes, the command, the instruction will attach go the off. To the bare chest. We have some basic analgesic that we also give to patients when we go for standby. For instance, we have the PMO, which is the paracetamol with us. And we have the deep freeze, which will also be used to give treatment to patients as well. We have our plaster, which is one of the basic things we also use in the car. This is called oropharyngea. It's also important. Sometimes you pick a patient, the patient is unconscious. So you put the oropharyngea in the mouth to be able to deliver oxygen to the patient. So it's very important in management of unconscious patients. We have the cord clamp. We always pick maternal cases. When we pick the maternal cases and we are coming to a high level of care, as we are reaching to the receiving facility, there are instances where the, the maternal lady or the pregnant woman deliver in the ambulance. When we are able to successfully deliver the patient, we have a cord that is from attached to the, the mother and the baby. When you cut the cord, there is a need for you to clamp it so air will not go into the cord or the navel of the baby. This is our flow meter and this is our oxygen cylinder. Whenever there is a need for us to give oxygen to the patient,